How's it going, China? It's going well. This response. With a Japanese invasion of Burma. That gotta help. That must help. But Urissa? Oh, it's mostly uh, British troops. But I mean, Japan and, and China make such great allies. They complement each other so well. It's uh, a shame they weren't very good friends for a long time. Or still not are very good friends. Because the things they can accomplish together is uh, amazing. It's, more, it's almost like putting uh, United Kingdom and France together. Like happened after Napoleonic Wars and forward. Where they were pretty good friends. See what they could accomplish with each other. Hint a lot is the answer. Basically now, I just need to entertain these fellas. Like they want to occupy territory, I'll let them occupy territory and then occupy it back. That works for me. Team back two, invasion going well, steamrolling across. Wagadoog. Where was Oagadugu now again? Was it here? Oh, maybe I just got confused with something else. Just defeat the Brits before they even manage to amass with new armies. Maybe I should make a def definitive attack over here on, on this little British army. Or maybe it will cost too much. I don't know. It's a bit shame though that this game doesn't model any any sort of supply lines or things like that because that would be a pretty cool element. It wouldn't have need to be overly complex either. It could more be, you know, the supplies you need to to get there is what you, well, pay for. But instead now they need to be transported a bit. The Russians are seeping through my land. I guess a bit like how I'm seeping through their land. And actually launching invasions into Ukraine now. These two armies will have to basically defend the, mo the motherland. Oh my. This sneaky attack here on British India is doing a really good job. And honestly, I think uh, Britain's time is over. How is the war score? It's still going incredibly bad, but I think over time it must change. They're living under past victories, li quite literally. And this is annihilated the uh, last remnants of, of British support here, British armies. So, yeah, basically, the campaign in Africa is done, it's won. I just wonder how I can do anything against them now. I'm evading French Africa and British Africa. Luckily for my, my minor... What should I call it? Satellites, colonies, whatever, dominions. I didn't call them into the war. Which means they weren't really affected by this. And freeing the Dutch as well. I mean, I really, really would want an alliance with with Germany. Right now, it's still because of infamy, a bit of a distance, too many alliances. Do I have any alliance I can sacrifice? An alliance that doesn't matter to me as much. I'm allied with Mali, Romania, Argentina, Nicaragua. Am I allied with Nicaragua, really? Oh, maybe that was from uh, enemy of my enemy. Did remember when I got oh no 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 they got armies I need to stop them before they become a threat again I mean this is what I want to see this is beauty right here beauty in numbers that's exactly what I needed here a big battle one still doesn't affect the war score which is ludicrous. 
Follow that up with another victory. And we're solid here. Yes, exactly. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Come on, a, a tiny bit more. A tiny bit more. And victory. 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 Ha. Ah. There we are. Now spread out. Take the territory. Make them cry. And go here. Yes. Thank you. And I can even send in some more troops now. Completely overwhelm them. And I don't really need to do anything around these parts. China and Japan has already reached Moscow. I think they have already taken Moscow. Haven't they? No, it's about to. Japanese troops are about to take Moscow. Yeah. I haven't heard of that before either. But I'm proud of them. Without their help, this war would have been surely lost. So I value them a lot as compatriots and uh, as allies. I just kind of need... To, I could have pulled back my troops now, in fact. And I will. I mean, there's no, no point of my troops to be there anymore. Suez Canal finished! Yeah, oh right, I built the Suez Canal. Wait, this is not the Suez Canal, this is uh, the Panama Canal. The Suez Canal is finished. Forgot I built you. Or started to build you. Because you've been silent for a long time now. No, 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 no. They're sending even more troops. Where are they getting them from? Are they really landing more troops here? Oh, well, I will finish them. There we are. And to follow it up with another victory. As per before. Even though it's an attack now. And they still have... I, I still have not gotten gas attack capability. This is beautiful though. Import cost minus 10%. Prestige and tariff efficiency. Everything is beautiful. I don't really use tariffs anymore, but if I did, that would be really good. Germany crosses the Suez Canal. No! On the night before the canal was due to open in 1920, a German captain navigated his vessel in total darkness and without light through the mass of waiting ships until it was in front of our flagship. When dawn broke, our officials were horrified to, to find that the German navy was first in line and that it would be impossible to pass them. The German captain received both an official reprimand and an unofficial vote of thanks from the German Admiralty for his actions in promoting German interests and for demonstrating such superb seamanship. So apparently, they stole our thunder by being the first ship to cross. Typical Germany. They don't help in wars, and they cross our newly built canals as well. Germany, do you want to have an alliance now? It's been even worse. Is it because of the worsening of relationships? I think it might be. Increase relationship then. Because I want to crush Ger uh, France to the ground. I need Germany for that, actually. Still at this point in the war. Even with Russia so completely annihilated. I still need Germany on my side. Just focus on shutting the Brits down. I'm a bit tired of, of this campaign here. Oh, come on, they've sent even more troops there? Come on, is it a victory? It seems to be a victory. I can even build armor now. You know, I don't think I will have use for them. Generally speaking, I never build armor because my economy is... It's not really worth it. I have never really seen any purpose of armies. Or armor, I mean. I'm sure they are really valuable. But I just have not really experienced that value. For Netherlands' sake, can you please have an alliance with me? It's getting even worse. Why? Political considerations, I guess that's what's been worsening. Base reluctance. 
I don't even know. Yeah, I don't even know. All I know is that this conflict over here is about to be done. Is this... Oh, this is territory I can go to. And a bit of random Portuguese areas here as well. Portuguese Gambia. I wonder, do you speak Portuguese in Gambia still? Like that's, I was fascinated to learn that in Namibia there are some German speakers left from the colonial days. And I find that fascinating. Because there was only such a brief moment that German was there. I wonder if, for example, in Somalia there is uh, any Italian speakers left. I know that France and uh, Britain made a pretty big mark on their respective parts. And I think also in Congo with Belgium. It's, it's a fascinating part. Great deals of Africa speaking French simply because of French colonial power, I guess. Oh, I don't like that the Russians only is, Russia's only still standing army is basically in the Caucasus. And I forgot that I always forget that Moscow is not the capital, it's St. Petersburg. So please do take St. Petersburg. Germany now wants an alliance. The question is, Germany, with this alliance now that you've gotten, would you like to join me in this war? If you say no again, I might be angry. Has refused. It said likely two times in a row. Two times in a row likely. Why aren't you not joining me? Why do I have to go through this again with you? Timbo? Oh, they have an army there? When? I mean, they, they keep shipping in more armies. With very little sense of why they're doing it. I guess they barely know themselves. This is now a war of attrition, essentially. Their African uh, or, or Africa part is knocked out. Germany wants an alliance again. I'm guessing that they won't co be called into an alliance, even though it says likely. I'll try once more, for the sake of it. They will say no. No, oh, they have honored our military alliance now suddenly. Germany is mobilizing. Germany is in the war. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't even think they feel the need to mobilize. They will just march in, free the Netherlands. Actually, the Netherlands have given up. Uh, hopefully, Germany is now not in the part of negotiating for peace. We are not allowed to negotiate. No, Germany took over. This is not good. They will most likely not honor our demands. They will probably end up throwing everything away. This is not bad. I shouldn't have... <laughs> I shouldn't have gotten Germany involved in this. But now at least, if they give up, it will hurt their country, and they're far less inclined to do that. If it involves, you know, great war capitulation and things like that. Because I worked too dang hard for Germany to throw this away with a stupid, stupid peace offer. But could I now feasibly add war goals of various sorts? And considering it's a great war, things cost much less. So I could go with adding in Russian Empire, acquire state, and do uh, Georgia. Where are you, Georgia? Georgia, Georgia. Where did you go? Come back to me, there we are. Add Georgia. United Kingdom forced Germany to dismantle the empire. Okay, now they're in for it. Germany will never accept that. But apparently my infamy rose to 21.5 now. So I should be uh, careful with what I add now. Okay, okay. Things are looking up, up, up. Things are looking very well. There's no way they can f 
throw more troops here without me knowing it. Okay, can this occupation progress get done? So I can take over the rest of Africa. Oh, I'm paused. What the hell? The rest of Africa. Wait, who, who wants the peace? Fadli accepted the offer of peace. The Russian Empire has discredited Japan. Well, I think uh, Japan is discrediting you. France is getting trash now. Beautiful. This clearly should turn the tide. If it doesn't, it's a travesty. It's a goddamn travesty. That they are still... No. Oh. America. It's only a Gambia or Gab whatever Gamon. Gabon. Doesn't matter that much. Forty percent now. Attack occupation is increasing. With France all complete, uh, with Russia almost completely occupied, with France about to be completely occupied, with India about to basically be occupied as well, with uh, the King Empire knocking them all out. It's not looking well for the once great nation of the United Kingdom. What would it cost me to add that war goal as well? Dismantle Empire. Can I do... What, cut down to size? Is that it? Why can't I do Dismantle Empire? No. Cut down to size is not it. A tiny restoration of order to the Venetian provinces. Oh, silly Italy. You're just being a distraction right now. France has managed to gather 10,000 men. In a very, very poor attempt at killing me. I will entertain their attempts. I will let them walk through. Actually, I will just kill them. That's much easier. Okay, basically this is just waiting for the victory to be achieved and uh, see whatever Germany comes up with as a, you know, as a peace offer. Wait. Oh, great war capitulation. Now grants me the terror access to the Russian Empire. Well, the Russian Empire has no armies to speak up anymore. But apparently the French do. In a stunning offensive that no one saw coming, the French have attacked me now with armies. How dare they? With armies? Of all things to attack me with. Okay, just kill him. Whatever the cost may be. Find him, kill him. Annihilate him. There we go. And Germany are sending troops to deal with the French invaders. Thank you, Germany. Oh, Germany are, is losing. Holy hell. That was not expected. That was not expected at all. Now they have the cannons over their heads. I don't know what it means. Is it that they have low supplies? Is it something like that? It could be the reason for it. Mongolia is even having troops now in Turkey. Okay, Germany, just finish up. Like, hurry up. Finish France off. There we go, and a few more regions left to conquer. And the sea, like the coast here, has been completely annexed. Germany's even attacking from Zanzibar, or whatever to call the area. And I think they, I mean, say what you want about the Brits. 
But they still have 200,000 men left here after a couple of years of fighting. And they have been standing up towards basically millions of Chinese. The only problem is that getting to United Kingdom is not really going to happen because we have no fleets available to do it. I do like though that De Denmark is in the war now. With Denmark in the war we are unstoppable. This army is way too big to go around here. This army is too. So we're going forward, I think I'm just going to send my smaller armies to deal with it. I think this one can do it as well. Oh well, I, f I feel this could uh, take a while, so I think I'll stop here for now and then next time we will begin with ending the war. That sounds like a pretty good plan to me. And my final action of the day will be to grant Denmark military access from us. There we go. I hope you enjoyed this war so far, and I hope the conclusion to it will be, well, satisfying, let's just say.